We are going on with our series on complex numbers and in this video we'll find the values of x if it's given that we have 4x cubed minus 20x squared plus 9x equal to 45. So first let us rewrite this equation in standard form. That means to have all of the values on the left equal to 0. So I have to bring over the 45 to the left hand side. Now what we want to do is attempt to factor this expression. And I'm going to use a method called grouping. So I'll group the first two terms together and take out a greatest common factor. And then I'll group the third and fourth term together and take out a greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor, my first two terms, would be 4x squared. And if I take out 4x squared, I'm left with x minus 5. Now, when I do grouping, I will try to recreate x minus 5 when I factor my second set of terms. So if I take out 9, I have x minus 5 as well. So we can continue to factor by taking out a greatest common factor in my two terms now. So that will be x minus 5 times 4x squared plus 9 equal to 0. And you would notice my second set of brackets is a sum of two squares. So 4x squared plus 9 can be written as 4x squared minus 9i squared, where i squared is equals to negative 1. So now I have a difference of two squares as well. So if I factor further, I have x minus 5 times 2x minus 3i times 2x plus 3i equal to 0. And I set each set of brackets equal to 0 in order to find the values of x. That means that x is equal to 5. Or I can say that 2x minus 3i equal to 0. And if I solve that, I have x equals to 3 over 2i. And for my last set of brackets, I have 2x plus 3i equal to 0. That means that x can also be equal to negative 3 over 2i. So for this equation, it was possible for us to find a real solution for x and two complex values for x.